Hello friends, uh, welcome to the uh, new session. Uh, this is Sanjay Pradhan from softchip.com. In this session, we will discuss the security model of Dynamics 365. As you know, the security model, the security matrix of Dynamics 365 is one of the most critical part and most complex part of the Dynamics 365, which ensures the proper access to the users of Dynamics 365. So it is it is always a uh, important fact to understand the model and the architecture of the security implementation of Dynamics 365. So as we have all, we will discuss in Dynamics 365, we have four types of security models implemented. One is role-based security where the users will be assigned uh, by a role, specific role like account manager or managers or you know vice president or whatever role that your business will support so according to that role the users will access the system and we have also record based security where uh, uh, crm provides the dynamics 365 provides access to record level for the users then we have field based security where if there is any sensitive data stored in any field of an entity, then we can also uh, impose uh, the field security profile you know, for uh, entities. Then we have also hierarchy security that is introduced in latest versions of Dynamics 365. So the fundamental concept behind the security is the organization and we have the business units and users then we have security roles then we have privileges then access levels and depth and important nodes we will discuss in later stage so as i have told you dynamics 365 supports multiple organizations in one instance so and every organization might have multiple business units and a single business unit might be treated as a parent of multiple child business units and this and users are nothing but the uh, you know records which are related to a specific business unit so users must associated with a business unit if we require the user to give access to the crm system and we have security roles which will be assigned to the users and we we also define privileges for the security roles in the security model matrix privileges as we can say create update delete share assign append to and append so these are the privileges that in that exist in dynamics 365 and we can provide the privilege to the security role access level is something important where we will define whether a user can access a specific privilege can have the privilege with the user level access or the organization level access if the access level for a create privilege is user level then only the user can create the record uh, in the user level now next is this is the organization hierarchy that uh, we can think of at the top most part we have organization and below that we have we might have multiple business units and a, a single business unit might have multiple child business units then then later we can have multiple teams and users uh, can be assigned in the in the team or users can be treated as individual user in, uh, in the system and we can assign security role to the users so so this is what we will discuss in practical in Dynamics 365 system. So this is a snapshot of the privileges available in the Dynamics 365 system. We have a privilege called as create. Create nothing but a privilege which can create records of the entity. If you have create privilege then you can create records of a specific entity. Then accordingly read, write, delete, append, append to, assign and share. So these are all the privileges available in Dynamics 365 which can be configured for a specific security role and in turn we can assign the security role against the user. So this is a snapshot of system admin security role. 
uh, and this is the this is the entities and the privileges and the user and the level of access we provide for a specific user of role system administrator so this is the fundamental and we will directly move on to the dynamics 365 to understand how these things are configured to do that we have to go to settings and we will find a option called as security once you click this we will find the security options here so multiple options you will find here one is security role one is hierarchy security role and we have users teams then business unit then field security profile then positions and access team templates so first of all we have to check the business units as you know business unit is the fundamental unit of any business in an organization so the business configuration is important some companies might have one business unit so all the users are tagged to that business unit uh, unit but if there is multiple business unit then you have to create users and assign the proper proper business unit to the users here you will find only one business unit exist and we can also define uh, child business unit in this system if you create new then it will allow us to create a new business unit when you install dynamics 365 a by default business unit creates which is given which is provided at the time of installation and according to the business need you can create multiple business units and by configuring the parent child relationship uh, according to the business need so here i'll provide a business unit name let's say dynamics 365 child and i can also select parent business unit age dynamics 365 online which is already there so every organization must have a parent business unit and optionally there might have multiple child business units now i can save and close here once you save save the business unit you the system provides a flexibility to add users to the business unit and uh, you, you can also add the team to the business unit and you can also add the facility equipment and all informations that you want to add so this is how you can create business units and relate to business units through the parent and child relationship so the next thing we will see the user configuration when you go to security then you will find users users are the fundamental record uh, then you have to so once you define the business units you have to go to the users to, uh, next you have to go to the security role now you want to create a security role or you want to edit the existing available security role according to your need now every security role must be connected must be you know associated with a business unit so without a business unit a security role cannot be implemented and security roles are specific to the business unit if there is any security role in an in a business unit then all the child business units of that business unit will inherit the uh, security roles let's say this is the account manager role which is tagged to business unit dynamics 365 online which is the parent business unit now if if i will open this then i will find the security role matrix defined and configured for the role account manager you can see here for the account manager role the business unit is the parent business unit and we will find these are the keys where if there is a single oval a null oval then it is non-selected the below one is 
the below row is nothing but the access level user level access business unit level parent child business unit then organization let me tell you the access level one by one if the access level is selected as none then the user with this security role as account manager cannot access cannot create or cannot uh, do that privilege that is assigned if the access level is user then the user with this role can only access the records which is owned by that user the tooltip you can see the user can access only records that the user owns that or that are shared with them or that are shared with the team they belongs to if the access level is business unit then the users can access only records that belong to the same business unit at the user as the user and if the access level is parent child business unit then the user can access the parent business unit's record and if it is organization access level access level then the user can access any record in the organization regardless of their business unit okay so if you go to codex so these are the options where the entities and the privileges are the you know permissions are uh, segregated if you go to core records then it will show you all the entities uh, information and uh, here we have the privileges create read write delete append append to assign and share let's say this is the create privilege for account manager we have given on account record on account record i have i have set for this account entity i have set all privileges as non selected access level that means if a user having role account manager then the user cannot create or read or delete or append append to a shared share of any account record so that means the account manager will not have the account record access if i will give the user level access on create then the user with role account manager can create the you know uh, create the uh, account records which uh, which will be uh, where uh, the user will be the owner okay if i will give the privilege privilege create and the business unit level then the user can create the create a account record and can assign to the end uh, the, the user can create the records in business unit level and if it is parent business unit then accordingly the user can create the records up to the you know the account is set to the next we have organization level the user can create organization uh, you know accounts if if i will give read as user level then the account managers can read the users with role account manager can read only the records which is owned by them if i will give the business unit then the users with account manager role can read the records which is owned by the business units all the users uh, which is owned by all the users of the business unit if i'll give parent business unit uh, access level then the users with role account manager can read all the records which is owned by the users of the same business unit and as well the parent business unit if i i will give the organization level then the users with role account manager can read all the records irrespective of the business unit of the organization so this is how we will we, we have to configure the matrix for these privileges and the and the access level for specific entities okay so this defines the complex security matrix and uh, this ensures which user has what level of access in different entities okay accordingly we have marketing 
and we have sales so these are all the options that we have to work through and uh, properly set the you know uh, matrix for a specific role uh, and uh, for the user okay now once the security role is created once the secret role is created the next thing is we have to assign the security role to a uh, user okay now if you go to users now in our next session we will we will check how to assign the security role to the user and uh, how to you know uh, how to configure the field security profile so for now thank you for the watching the video uh, and meet you on next session